Today we're going to look at music that soothes the soul. This is music you can relax to, and we're going to look at some 60s albums here on Pop Goes the 60s. I thought it would be a good idea to make a video that would be something you could relax to. Maybe an album you haven't put on the turntable in a while. And I came up with a list of 12. So there are a dozen albums here that soothe the soul. So we're gonna start off with a favorite of many, and that's Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys. And this album was the first album where the Beach Boys really went into their symphonic uh, era, I guess. Brian Wilson was really taking it to another level here. And this record, um, it's got a couple Beach Boy singles on it, like Sloop John B and Wouldn't It Be Nice. But some of the other more relaxing songs are Caroline No, You Still Believe in Me, and one of the best songs on here is God Only Knows. So the song God Only Knows was the song that Paul McCartney called his favorite song of all time. Now much of the production on this album gets a lot of notice because it is so symphonic and orchestral and the sounds he achieves, that Brian Wilson's achieves from the instrumentation is really the first time this was ever done in rock music. Next up is a band you may not be familiar with. They're called the Dillards. So the Dillards are known mainly for being the hillbilly band on the Andy Griffith show. And the Dillards are from Salem, Missouri. And uh, they wound up in Los Angeles looking for work in the early 60s and found work on, in television really before they were doing a lot of musical stuff. First few albums they did were straight bluegrass, but then they got into this great folk rock sound during the country rock phase. And, 1968, which is where this album is from. Now this album's got a, some great, uh, it's country-ish, but it's bluegrass based, and it's just a joyful album to listen to and great instrumentation. Bad morning, when this life is over, I fly away, fly away. Nobody knows, nobody ever knows, no one ever knows what love must go. Okay, next up is The Magic Garden by The Fifth Dimension. Now, this album isn't that known, not as known as some of their other albums. This followed the album Up, Up, and Away, and this one was not a big, as big of a hit because the two singles that came from it only charted in the, in the top 40. They were moderate hits, but this whole album was written by Jimmy Webb. Webb was, he wrote the song Up, Up, and Away. He wrote MacArthur Park. He wrote Wichita Lineman, and this was his first big project, and this is a psychedelic album and it's very it's very mellow and a lot of the songs flow into one another but the nice thing about this it's not pretentious it's not super dated sounding so this is a great one to soothe your nerves Here we have Donovan's Sunshine Superman. This is from 1966. This is probably the first, what I would call, rock psychedelic album, fully psychedelic album. And uh, Donovan, he was utilizing acoustic instruments. He used a little bit of sitar on this, on this album to accent some of the songs. There are two straight rock songs on here, one being Sunshine Superman and the other being Season of the Witch. But the rest of the songs are, are rather mellow and thought-provoking, and uh, great to listen to when you want to relax. But I hurt my good gal. I hope she makes out right, flying through the night. Such is the silence, a royal candle. 
Here we have The Doors, The Soft Parade. Now, this album doesn't get a lot of love. At least, I hear a lot of people rip on this album because The Doors, I think, tried to sound more commercial on this record. There's a lot of orchestration, a lot of strings, and we weren't used to hearing that kind of production on Doors albums prior to this. Now, this has got the hit song, Touch Me, and the other two singles were Tell All the People and Wishful Sinful. Okay, what could be more mellow than The Grateful Dead? <clears throat> this is American Beauty, the album from 1970. And this is my favorite album by them. I just love this record. Uh, this is the first album where they really concentrated on their vocals. They really struggled in the studio and their albums before this. And I think it wasn't until they really tried to become singers that things started working in the studio for them. Now this record's got a couple real fun songs like Truckin' and Sugar Magnolia. But it also has some other great mellow songs on here like Box of Rain and Friend of the Devil. Box of Rain is my all-time favorite Grateful Dead song. Okay, next up we have the Kinks Village Green Preservation Society. This is a favorite of mine. And most Kinks fans know that the Kinks make music that poke fun of everyday English life. And this is a concept album that does just that. And some really wonderful songs on here. This is, this came out, or this was done, uh, this came out in 1968. So this is around the psychedelic period, but this isn't really a psychedelic album. Um, it's got some rock songs on it, but typically the songs are more mellow, they're acoustic, and they're very thought provoking. The thing I really like about this record is there are a lot of very colorful characters that come to life in this, this record, like Picture Book, Johnny Thunder, Do You Remember Walter, and Wicked Annabella. Johnny Thunder lives on water, feeds on ice. Yes, Walter was my mate, but Walter, my old friend, where are you now? Next up we have Sergio Mendez in Brazil 66 with Equinox. This is the group's first album and Sergio Mendez was a Brazilian uh, band leader, a jazz player, and the albums he did for Atlantic did not sell. So somebody suggested, well, why don't you have females in your group and have them sing in English? And that's what this band became, was this fusion of English and Brazilian uh, easy listening music, essentially. So this, the term easy listening was used for middle of the road music in the 60s, music that wasn't quite rock, and the easy listening chart charted these groups much higher. And these guys had a big hit with this album. All right, Days of Future Past by the Moody Blues. When I thought of doing this video, this is the first album that came to mind. And this album, when it came out in 1967, was, it was a big hit. And it was, it was appropriate for the times. It came out right around when Sgt. Pepper came out. This was done with the London Festival Orchestra. So it's heavily orchestrated. And uh, I had a friend I used to work with at Coles who, um, used to come home from work and drive home in the rush hour traffic and listen to this music to relax. Okay, next up we have Groovin' by The Rascals. Now The Rascals, this is their third album, Blue Eyed Soul Band. 
But on this record, which came out in 67, during the Summer of Love, it really reflects the times. And the other hits on here are A Girl Like You and You Better Run. But maybe the best song they ever did is called How Can I Be Sure. Well, here's an interesting one. This is Yvette's Red Now. That is backwards for Stevie Wonder. And he did this album in 1968. It's an all-instrumental album based on the hit Elfie. Elfie was a hit. Uh, it was a Burt Backrack and Hal David song from the movie Elfie covered by Dionne Warwick. And Stevie Wonder had a hit with it about a year later as an instrumental version and recorded a whole album of instrumentals. Next up, we have The Searchers, the second best band from Liverpool. First band, obviously, being Jerry and the Pacemakers. Now, this record is, uh, if you know The Searchers, they've got great harmonies. They've got a great jangly guitar song, sound. And two of the biggest hits you're going to know, and that is Sugar and Spice, Needles and Pins, oh, and Love Potion Number 9. Three big hits. So they also have... And those are pretty upbeat, but very happy songs. They also have some more morose songs, which are mellow, and make great use of the electric guitar. I said we do 12 records, but I'm going to do a baker's dozen here. We're going to go with a great, great album, Odyssey and Oracle by the Zombies. So this is a great bookend to the first album I show, which is Pet Sounds. This album matches Pet Sounds in melody and song construction and I would say even vocal delivery. The Beach Boys obviously have great harmonies. So do the Zombies. Now this record has the hit on it, Time of the Season, and that song, the band was had broke, basically broken up when this was released. This was not a hit until much later when Time of the Season was released as a single, and this album kind of came back and uh, wasn't a big hit, but that's when people started to listen to it. The sky is overcast and no one brings a rose for Emily. To you I hope you're feeling better, baby. Well, that's my Baker's Dozen for Music to Soothe Your Soul. Thanks for joining me. Check back for another video here on Pop Goes the 60s. It's the time of the sea.